any job needs a union. And if you're gonna get a union, get the best, get the CAW. I find they're more accessible, they're, you can talk to them. We never would be where we are today if it wasn't for the auto workers. My job, um, it's, it's very busy. It's a long-term care unit. Uh, we also float to acute care as well. I work with other PSWs and RPNs. There's three staff on the floor for 24 residents, which uh, is, it's challenging. It's challenging to meet residents' needs with the staff that we have. I love being a nurse. I like to help people, and uh, that's important to me. It, it gives me a sense of self-worth, and, um, and, and I absolutely love my job. I do. My dad worked at Chrysler's 31 years, retired. When the CIW first came here, people were a little bit worried. Since they've been here, everything has gone well. We're well represented. Our stewards are excellent. Uh, anytime we have an issue, it's taken care of quickly. Well, actually, healthcare workers came to the Canadian Auto Workers Union as a result of mergers and as a result of organization drives and as a result of other workers leaving their previous unions, believing that the CEW uh, it was more progressive, more understanding in terms of uh, fighting for healthcare workers. So um, today we represent in excess of 25,000 healthcare workers in our union. Challenges on my job are varied. You are your own boss when you're in the field. You have to think for yourself. A lot of times you're in an emergency situation where you have to quick, do something quickly. Um, you have to make decisions. It can be a stressful job at times. Um, I find it stressful when I'm delivering a baby. Um, I find it stressful when I'm working with um, car accident victims that are the age of my children. The best part of my job is when I do deliver that baby and everything comes out okay, or when I uh, shock someone that has had uh, their vital signs absent and then they come back in a couple months and shake my hand and say thank you. We withdraw people from alcohol and any drug and gambling, and uh, um, it's to offer them a safe place so that they, don't, you know, they feel safe and they don't need to use while they're here. The best part of my job is seeing families come back together and uh, they come pick up their children or their husband or their wives and it's a happy family and the kids come and they're all dressed up and uh, it's the best part of the job, seeing somebody succeed. We do uh, bathing the residents. We uh, dress them, we wipe washed them, we brushed their hair. Basically, everything that they can't do for themselves, we do for them. In the run of a day, we can have like seven to eight people, and if we work short, uh, you don't have time to really interact with the residents. It's like you're in and out. The job that we do is not easy, and don't take it so lightly. Because when you see a caregiver, when you see us and you've got your family in nursing homes or in senior citizens, if you just say thank you to us once in a while and give us a smile because we're doing important jobs. I am a sample processing technician, which is a sterilization of our surgical instruments. It's very important to check every item and every lock box in the scissor, make sure it is perfectly clean before it goes in the sterilizer. With the new technology, change, things change all the time. Like we are getting everything computerized now where we scan all the trays so we can track them. It's a constant change. It can be challenging, but it's also very interesting. Generally, we get started about 5.30 in the morning. We come in here, get all the machines up and running, and set up all the, um, the circuits on the machines, get everything up and running so that it's ready for 7 o'clock for when the patients and the nurses arrive. Without dialysis, the patient would, um, probably in about a week, they would pass away. Sometimes because of um, hospital uh, budget cuts, 
um, we have to do with less people and it, it really becomes a challenge. Um, like not so long ago we ended up losing one person and they weren't going to replace that person anymore. So um, it, it's, it's really difficult for us to, to keep up. I've been in long-term care for almost like 30 years. I start as a healthcare aide and also I went back to school to do the rehab program. It's a great feeling to help people. A typical day we do 12 hour shifts, so we begin at 7 in the morning or 7 at night. Uh, we come in, do our aircraft checks, get our weather briefings from the pilots and uh, then wait for the phone to ring. When CAW came in, it kind of made you feel more protected, or like you feel like you're safe. Um, they are always watching out for our safety, whether it's uh, keeping proper helmets, keeping proper equipment, uh, survival training, all that stuff. We maintain all the HVAC, heating, ventilation, air conditioning systems throughout the health center. Uh, we take care of all the patient rooms, uh, the offices. Everyone under this roof is taken care of climate control wise by us. I love a challenge and there's always a challenge in this job and I, that's what keeps me going here. It's been quite a change since we, with that CAW has come aboard with us. The future looks good with us, for us with the CAW. We wanted to have a, a union that was, that's had a good value system, a really strong value system that cared about healthcare, um, not just not just as healthcare workers and collecting healthcare worker dues, but as a whole picture, as a, the public healthcare system and a not-for-profit system, and certainly uh, the CAW has uh, has really proven that they uh, they stand above other unions in that respect. They're extremely accessible, either via email or via phone. I've always gotten a phone call back. Mind you, I find things just take a little bit longer than I would like them, but I think we all can be impatient at times. You can talk to them, you know, I've never had a problem. The auto workers has changed the face of bargaining um, for, our, for our local. They mandated that they sit down now and, and bargain collective agreements. That is amazing. That's something that never happened where we were before. Uh, everything ended up in arbitration. Local issues never got finished. As long as I've been here, and we've had a union probably since 1975, 76, and we've never had a contract that's been settled in the year it expired, except for uh, two, the last two with the CAW. Well, as you know, Sudbury is a union town. Um, my grandfather, my father, my aunts, and my, my brothers and my uncles have all worked in the mines. And all these residents that we have in this facility, 99% um, of them have been involved in unions, and they're our forefathers who fought the trail to make sure that these unions are strong. With the long-term care facilities, the union itself is politically involved in trying to get the funding to go up to the 3.5 hours of nursing care per day, and it's so important because these people deserve more attention. The time limits are so stretched that it's, it's minimal care that's being provided. It's not optimal care, which is what our members want to provide to the residents. Um, I like to be able to walk out the door and feel that I've done a good job, not that I have a checklist that I have to say, what did I forget today? What did I have to skip today? Who did I miss today? With CAW, it's not just we fight for our members, we fight for other people, we fight for what's right. Whether it's in Canada, whether it's in an, another country, we fight for people that need help. They have the social justice fund to help people that may not have the ability to fight issues on their own. As an RN, I'm often asked, how can you have an auto workers union represent you as a healthcare worker? And I say, why not? Um, we've had so many opportunities to learn and to grow, um, to be a part of so many experiences. Um, the union's very diversified. Uh, I like that we, are, um, we have auto workers, we have uh, railway workers, we have marine workers, and we have healthcare workers. It's great. Uh, we all have different opinions and, and we're all fighting for the same cause.